We did, we launched uh, Kings Barnes Dream to Dram just about exactly a year ago actually, it was in January uh, of last year. Done very well um, on the market, so we're in 19 different countries now, uh, it's a very exciting time. So the style that we make, I would probably say light, fruity, elegant. Um, what I say to people is every aspect of what we do in the distillery to make the whiskey is geared towards making that, that kind of character. So we're using two strains of yeast, long fermentations, uh, slow distillation, a high cut point, even the engineering of how we fit the pipes uh, to get clear wort and everything else, you know, it's all geared towards trying to trying to target that fruity style of spirit. Um, so really it is the sum of the, the sum of the parts that makes the whiskey and it's the same for every distillery. Every distillery has their own process. Um, but in terms of style I would say um, I would say we're quite a typically kind of lowland style but with more of a fruit element to it. Um, the way that the, the whiskey came out uh, has, has got a little bit more banana in it which is quite interesting. Banana, tropical fruit, soft toffee in the palate. Um, yeah and at the end of the day we're, we're young as well. Yeah, so uh, single cast for Germany, um, it's cask strength, I think it's 61.9%, ex-bourbon cask. Now, bourbon works really nicely for our spirit, um, it gives a nice calibre of, of maturation for us. Um, so we thought, let's, let's release a cask here that is representative of the bulk of what we fell into. About 80% of, of our cask policy is, is ex-bourbon, and for good reason because it works with the spirit. We're making such a kind of fruity, elegant style that we can't have it, you know, bludgeoned to death by sherry or, or, or a vert oak. So it's very important for us to make sure that the marriage is there and it, that it kind of blends quite nicely into, into one another. Um, so this one that I brought here, it's got a lovely sweetness to it. I think it's almost a wee touch of like Battenberg cake. Um, still all the fruit is there. So that Kings Barnes fruity style is there. Uh, the kind of tropical fruit, banana as well, but um, got a lovely sweetness to it. Uh, and, and put out uh, at cast strength, as I say, natural colour, non chill filtered. I think so. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, we've, we're doing some experimentation, so. Uh, I think it's important to have a distillery style, to establish a style. We're quite a young distillery, so we need to, to get the brand established first of all. And that's where Dream to Dram comes into play uh, as, a, um, as the flagship product for us, to say, this is us to the world. Um, but then we're doing some experimentations. We're filling different sherry butts, Fino, Amatiliado. Uh, we're doing a lot of Oloroso as well. Um, and this is old Solera butts, so they've got a bit of age to them. Them, they're going to give a nice rounded kind of maturation. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at with uh, with uh, the barrel selection. Of course, we're also doing um, Portuguese shaved toasted rechard casks as well, uh, and they make up 10% of the uh, of the whiskey that goes into a dream to dram, and that just gives a wee touch of richness, almost like a sour mid palate. Um, gives a little bit more interest to the dram, I think. Um, so yeah. It's, it's, we're not using any peated malt. Um, provenance is very important for it to us, so we're using Fife barley, you know, mineral rich water from the distillery. Uh, where does peat come into all of that? It doesn't really show its, it, itself, but we have filled some ex peated barrels. So we filled some ex, uh, some barrels that have previously held the foig. Um, just as a little experiment. Um, so at some stage in the future, when it's ready, that'll, that'll be going out. Um, yeah, but as I say, limited experimentation there. What am I most fond of personally? Um, I'll be absolutely honest with you. For, for Kings Barnes, I think bourbon. First fill bourbon. Um, 
it seems to blend so nicely with the that kind of tropical berryish new make style that we have. The the vanilla and the the kind of coconut uh, and the sweetness from Kentucky ex, ex bourbon ba barrels just works really nicely, and it's nice to see people appreciating that as well. Um, don't get me wrong, I love a sherry dram, but uh, everyone's got their own tastes, so I'm, I'm really loving the, the ex bourbon barrels. Thank you for the interview. And thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of the festival.